What's up, everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson, and in your fix of entertainment news for today, a new Justice League actor emerges with a claim about Joss Whedon's misconduct, fans try to bring out Bucky's inner Winter Soldier, and in Soviet Russia, they're making their very own epic fantasy movies. On a budget! Let's drop it. We've got more news on former Justice League director Joss Whedon's alleged misconduct while on set, this time involving Wonder Woman actor Gal Gadot. Now, this comes from an interview-led piece The Hollywood Reporter conducted with cyborg actor Ray Fisher and anonymous sources. Now, it seems Whedon threatened Gadot's career after she offered notes on the Justice League script. Now, according to THR's anonymous source, Gadot expressed her concerns, including, quote, issues about her character being more aggressive than her character in Wonder Woman. She wanted to make the character flow from one movie to the next. But Whedon's response was allegedly to direct her to say the lines anyway and threaten her career. Now, THR's anonymous source claimed, quote, Joss was bragging that he's had it out with Gal and goes on to say, quote, he told her he's the writer and she's going to shut up and say the lines and he can make her look incredibly stupid in this movie. When asked for her comments on the matter, Gadot told THR, quote, I had my issues with Whedon and Warner Brothers handled it in a timely manner. Now, while these claims have yet to be substantiated, what I will say is that Gal has proven that she is an amazingly talented actress, so personally, I doubt she'd had done or said something that would make her look anything less than. You know, since taking up the mantle of Wonder Woman, she's become a role model for not just other women in the industry, but little girls looking for strong female representation in the male-dominated world of superheroes. Now, this whole situation is a bit messy, but, you know, I think it's safe to say Gal's career is going to be just fine. What the future holds for Whedon, on the other hand? Well, you know, time will tell, but, you know, the odds of a Firefly reboot have been higher. Let's be honest. Now, in other news, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier actor Sebastian Stan says fans keep trying to activate the Winter Soldier in real life around him. Yeah. Speaking of BBC Radio One, Stan says, quote, it happens a lot and it's always very funny. It's an honorable thing, I guess. You're very taken with it all the time. You do have to sometimes look at people in the face and say, no, I will not become the Winter Soldier when you say that. You can keep saying it, and maybe you should say it. Maybe that's a moment we both need to have together. Now, here. But nothing crazy will happen. Wow, I can't believe he actually says all of that to just a random stranger in a coffee shop. Can I get that type of attention from actors when I run into them? I would love it. Now, you know what? This is all really crazy, you know? And I also wonder if the same thing ever happens to Mark Ruffalo. Like, do fans try to make him angry in real life to activate the Hulk? That's my secret, Captain. I'm always angry. Yeah, probably not a good idea. You know, he won't transform, of course, but you don't really want to catch them Ruffalo hands. You know, no one wants to get roughed up by Ruffalo or his team of high-priced lawyers. Yeah, so watch yourselves, people out there. And finally, did you know there's a bootleg Lord of the Rings adaptation from Soviet Russia? Neither did I, I live here in America, so I, I didn't even know that was a thing. But thankfully, through the power of the internet, the 1991 made-for-TV film based on J.R.R. Tolkien's classic novel has been unearthed and uploaded on YouTube. Uploaded in two parts, this one hour and 50 minute film adapts the first book of Tolkien's trilogy, The Fellowship of the Ring. Yeah, that's a it's pretty low budget, but you know what? I like it, I'm not gonna lie. It reminds me of those old student films you were in. And when, when I say you, I mean me. And, and when I say that counted as entertainment news, well, you're just gonna have to trust me, comrade. Why would you not trust me? I, I have a dope sweater on. Yeah. And that was your fix of entertainment for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson, and thank you all so, so much for watching. And now that you're all caught up on the news, check out the little marshmallow man uh, from this Ghostbusters Afterlife movie. It's an official clip of them like making s'mores out of themselves. It's, it's very weird, but it's very entertaining. Don't take my word for it. Go check it out. Download the IGN app on all your devices. Subscribe to The Fix Entertainment on Snapchat. And for all things everything else, keep it right here on IGN.